Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, now let's take a look again at the gold market. Just a few words since uh, as you can see action is not really impressive recently. Uh, at the same time, uh, although market moves really smooth to the downside, you can see that section is really stubborn, so uh, it's not really fast, but uh, it uh, looks like some real pressure. So as you can see this downward action within the recent couple of weeks market has erased as we have discussed yesterday even um, erased this uh, really fast candle and has turned down it's maybe even surprisingly so because after the, this kind of action we usually expect some upward continuation maybe attempt of the breakout or something that sort but this hasn't happened you can see this equal top and this fast candle and this first candle to the downside tops are equal and market gradually has turned as a v-shape right back down so this indicates the pressure of the bears so it's a really strong sell-off started because uh, to fade out the momentum of this upward action within the week uh, immediately with no um, some kind of the post momentum action here just surprise this immediate reversal so with the equal tops, this indicates a strong push from the bears to the downside. Uh, and here we uh, have suggested that maybe we even have got the three three black crowns uh, pattern. These crowns are not really very uh, often that you could see on the markets. Mostly could treat as the rare pattern, but usually it indicates the reversal. And here we see some kind of this that's very similar to three crowns. Uh, candlestick patterns. So you can see we have the candles to the downside. Each falling candle is greater than the first one, and candles are open right at the close of the previous candle. So you can see this could become the pattern that suggests downward continuation. And in general, overall action looks uh, such kind of as such kind of the pressure to the downside. As you can see, market is moving and moving down and down. So. Um, yesterday as well, as you can see, market has dropped, and uh, currently it confirms our expectations that probably uh, the minimum destination will be the previous bottom. It's around 13 even area, and later we will see what will happen. Because next week we will get the Fed meeting, we will get the uh, Bank of Japan meeting, September 21st. So this will be a very tough week. Uh, today is Friday, and probably market also could move slightly lower to return back to this bottom. Uh, I will not repeat everything that we uh, have told within the week about the bearish uh, moments that we have right now in the market. They are still stand here and as I just said that we in the medium term perspective we expect that uh, some downward action is more probable than the, some any upward trend uh, right now. So let's just keep watching what will happen. On the forward time frame chart you could see that our suggestion about the bearish dynamic pressure that was forming here recently has been confirmed and market indeed has dropped lower and taken out of this lows. Although it hasn't reached uh, the 1618 extension of that uh, swing, but still it, it is possible in the nearest uh, uh, time. On the hourly chart, the bearish divergence, hidden bearish divergence also has uh, led to this also has been confirmed. You can see market has dropped lower, but still it's, it's still coiling around the weekly pivot support one. So you can see, although it has it has uh, pierced this level, it has returned right back up, and now it's coiling mostly at the same area. So let's see what will happen right now. But we suggest uh, that hardly something will change uh, in the last uh, session of the current week, especially taking into consideration that. Uh, Currently, this holidays in the uh, in China, so that's why probably market could gradually continue to move lower. Personally, I think that hardly something drastic will happen today. Um, 
most important week probably will happen and then will become the next one. So that's all that we could say right now in the gold market. So let's see uh, what we will get.